and didn't know what I was doing, but I'm Hanifa and today we're going to be trying the Easy Detangling Comb which you've probably seen all over Instagram. I haven't really bought a lot of things off Instagram before um, but then this lockdown happened. It claims to work for all hair types and I'm a little bit dubious because we all know that one size fits all things don't, don't usually work very well. I'm quite sceptical about anything that seems trendy. I do hope it works. I really want like a good detangler with minimal shedding as well. Like I find that I shed, shed a lot, especially when I detangle. I don't know if this will work. It looks interesting. I have some reservations. I'm not sure why it's so like flimsy. And then this, I'm not happy about this. I don't know why they felt the need to include a small detachable part that could very, very easily fall down the drain in your shower when you're trying to put it on your hairbrush. But having said that, it makes some bold claims and it's called Easy Detangler. So I'm assuming it knows what it's doing. I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me on a little wash day. I'm hoping I'm just gonna be like, perfect curls, five minute shower. So the easy detangler, uh, wet your hair with water or moisturise with conditioner, gently brush vertically from the roots to end, this will massage your roots and detangle these tough knots. Follow through using the easy detangler brush horizontally to fully detangle and make those curls pop. Right. So it says you're supposed to start at the top of your head and go through. And I don't think I've ever done that, apart from maybe like the first time I ever did my hair and didn't know what I was doing, but... Oh. Feels in my head okay. Um, I'm not mad at how long the brush is. Mm. It glides through quite easily, which is quite a surprise. Oh, hold on. This is a new technique. Oh. I don't like how, how wide it moves, but it goes through the hair. Mm. Doesn't feel like it's ripping as it goes through my hair. Because usually I pull faces if, it, if a brush or a comb is like eh. So it says use this bit if you have thin and short hair. And my hair is relatively thin and relatively short, so. Okay, I don't like, I can hear like a snapping sound. I hope that's not my hair snapping. In terms of like what it's doing for my hair, I, I like it, I like the bounce that it's given to the ends. And in terms of the hair that's actually coming out, not that much, if any. I guess my hair is well and truly detangled. That didn't take very long, it took about two minutes. Not a lot in the house. As I was talking through the Easy Detangler, you probably have assessed that I, I did like it, did enjoy it. This is actually better than the one I already have, which I was, I'm really sad to admit, I'm not gonna lie. If you hate detangling your hair, and or you have very, very, very tangled, knotted hair, and you just, you find it stressful, I think I would have appreciated a brush like this when I was a kid, it, when my mom was doing my hair. It just works really well. The one thing I don't like about it is the fact that this, this thing keeps falling out. So like when you're in the middle of using it, it's like slipping and sliding and then your hair gets tangled in this. It also made me feel like I had like no hair on my head because it just went Which is what I wanted at the start. I know I said that. Perfect curls, five minute shower. But it didn't, there's a process of detangling which makes it feel like you've done it properly and this happened too quickly and my hair was too flat. I personally wouldn't buy it again. With Tangle Teasers and other detangling products, it feels less, it does feel like it's less of a chore. I feel like it handles better and it needs less force behind it in order for it to work. I'm very happy. I definitely recommend it. Um, two thumbs up. I'm in awe because I was ready to drag it. <laughs> 